Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So it's Wednesday and today I'm actually going home but that's more into the evening so I'm obviously going to vlog for the whole of the day. We have all not really been great this morning, like I woke up feeling really sick, like my whole throat is really swollen. Megan's been ill, Hattie's been ill so I'm assuming it's my turn um, and that's why I haven't been feeling very well this morning but I have a lot of things to do today so I literally cannot stay in. Um, so I'm gonna head to town with Megan. We need to pick up a few bits and do some stuff. So that's what we're gonna go do now. I'm also gonna get some more underwear in Primark um, because I feel like I'm lacking underwear. So that's gonna be one of our stops as well. Um, and then also need to sort out this package that I'll be talking to a lot more later and um, that I'm exchanging with one of my German viewers, which is so sick. So I'll chat to you more about that later. But I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing because I quite like this outfit today. It's quite minimal, but I, I don't know, I just quite like it. So I've got this white chenille sort of um, materialed jumper. It's absolutely lovely. It's so comfortable. It's from Primark and very affordable. I'm wearing my new black mom jeans from Miss Selfridge, which Lucy Wood recommended in one of her recent videos, and they're incredible. Um, yeah, they, they're quite loose around the waist, but they are so amazing. Like, the rest of the fit's amazing. Like, I love how they fit around my legs and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've just paired it with a belt, which is also Primark. It's actually amazing. Like, it's a dupe for a designer belt. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a light leopard print, like the leopard print that I really love, and two golden buckles there. Then I've got this bag that I got in the sale from New Look, which is a, a gorgeous, like, deep brown colour. This was £7 in the sale, so an absolute bargain. I love my little mini bags, so um, yeah, I picked this up a few months ago, I think. Um, but yeah, I haven't really worn it, so I completely forgot, to be honest. Uh, I need to film a haul, um, because the, all the stuff that I bought, like early January and late December, I haven't really done a haul on yet, so I need to do that um, when I get back from town too. So yeah, a lot of things to do today, but I'm sure we'll get through it. I also need to tidy my room because it's actually disgusting. Like, I would show you a little pan of it to show you how bad it is, but I'm too embarrassed, so... Yeah, anyway, let's go. The funniest thing. We <laughs> can't stop laughing. We're in we're in the Primark changing rooms. Mm. And we had this really cool vision. We were like, this is going to look great. Yeah, we were like, oh, I'll have it kind of like undone. Undone with a bralette. Like, I was like, oh, perfect, I'm wearing a bralette. Yeah, and it's just... I think it's the fit of the trousers. Yeah, look, it just, it just makes... just clings to all the wrong places it you needs know? to be it needs like a size 16 in, in this yeah for me for me to feel comfy it, it and look it's squishy and everything yeah like i look like what the hell but we've got cute cardigans so hopefully we should i might put it on over the top just to see if it fits nicely yeah. we've got big I'm ones one <laughs> right so me and megan are back from town now we got all the bits that we wanted plus a little bit extra but basically I thought I'd tell you guys um, something exciting that I'm doing with one, one of my viewers who lives in Germany so she had this idea and I thought it would be so cool because I've never tried any like German snacks before and I've never been to Germany it's like one of my top places that I want to go in Europe so she had an idea that we'd like, like a little gift swap and just send each other like snacks like crisps, sweets, a few little drinks and bits and pieces um, to each other and yeah, I'll, I'll definitely show you what um, Davina sent me when it gets here But I just thought I'd show you all of the stuff that I decided to pick. I like did a bit of research Sorry if some of these things you can get in Germany um, I have done a bit of research, but I might be wrong I'm not sure but I've been watching lots of like YouTube videos where German people try British candy and also like been researching on Google as well so fingers crossed there's stuff that most of the stuff in there Davina's never tried before or never seen so I'm gonna show you guys because it was really exciting, like picking out all the bits and pieces. So let's go. Oh, and also Davina, if you're watching and you want it to be a surprise, then definitely skip forward a couple of minutes. <laughs> right, so here's a little overview of the bits and pieces. We bought each other, we set ourselves a little budget so it wouldn't go too far because obviously it costs a lot to send stuff internationally. Okay, so this is future me editing and I completely forgot to explain the whole situation with this. But um, like, I literally say in here like, oh, internationally, like it'll cost quite a bit. I went to the post office to post this parcel and they said that it would charge they would charge me 64 pounds to send this and just because it was like slightly over two kilos so I was like what the fuck thankfully the woman was pretty helpful and she said that if I split the parcel into two packages then it would be a lot cheaper um so yeah kind of stressed me out because I don't really have 60 pounds to like just send this so yeah I was quite um worried because obviously Davina 
and sent her stuff and that. Hope, fingers crossed it gets there safely. Um, I picked up some wagon wheels. I'm not gonna obviously put all of these in because I wanna be able to fit as many different things into this parcel box as possible. Um, I've sent obviously Jaffa cakes because they're my favorites and I don't think you can get McVitie's in Germany. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, I've got her some of this because I saw a lot of German um, children trying these um, on YouTube and they their reactions were really funny. So fingers crossed she likes this. I've got some Twiglets. Um, some Monster Munch because they're really like an obscure flavour, one of my favourites. I also bought myself a pack because I absolutely love them. Um, some Dairy Milk Buttons because I don't have Cadbury's in Germany from what I know. Jelly Babies because I feel like they're a very classic British sweet. I've got some Quality Street Matchmakers, I've got a salted caramel flavour. Got some Starburst, some Party Rings, some Cheeselets. They're also some of my favourites. Jammy Dodgers, I felt that like these were very classic, very me. That's all the things I'm sending, so I'm gonna pop them all away. I might actually send some shortbreads as well because we have some in the cupboard and they're quite a British thing to have with tea. So yeah, I'm gonna pop these all in, see how it goes. I've just opened these boxes that I bought in town and they are literally tiny so I'm gonna have to see if there's any boxes in my room and um, that I can try and fit these in or maybe even that Jaffa Cakes box would be quite good I'll have a look but yeah having a bit of an issue right now <laughs> just been sitting writing lists of what I'm gonna do when I go home Um, basically I'm getting picked up later tonight because I have an orthodontist appointment tomorrow or Friday I can't really remember um, so I'm getting picked up by my family because my brother is currently an open day in Liverpool so but he's currently like looking around universities and going to applicant days to see which uni is best for him he's wants wanting to study geography as a degree so yeah he's trying to find the best place that he likes the most so yeah he's been to Liverpool today I think he's been to Lancaster and UEA so far and um, he really loves Lancaster and I think he did like UEA as well so exciting times exciting times but yeah they thought because they're in Liverpool and obviously much more northern than where we live they thought they might as well get me on the way back which I thought was fine like it's going to be a long day for them I think they're going to have like eight hours of driving by the time we end up getting home this evening and bless them but um they offered so thought I'd take up the offer yeah, I'm just writing lists of what I need to take home stuff that I'm gonna do whilst I'm home like filming wise and university wise um and I also just wanted to quickly thank you guys for the amount of votes I've got on that award thing that I was nominated for so if you're new and you haven't seen that vlog basically I got nominated for an award um called the most powerful student which is basically the most influent it's basically for being the most influential student in the UK and I'm up against some incredible incredible influencers like Eve Bennett, Jack Edwards um, and lots of other people that have done amazing things for their university or for their like society and things like that um, and I'm just really happy to have been nominated and I'm currently in fourth position thanks to you guys I've got over a thousand votes I think I'm on like 1100 and something um, so if you haven't voted yet there will be a link down below someone told me that you can vote once through Instagram and once through like on your laptop as well so if you can do that that would be great if you fancy giving me an extra vote um, but yeah, thank you so much for voting. I just wanted to sort of stay in the top five now I've got here I'm sort of like rooting for myself. I literally thought I was gonna get no votes honestly So that's why I'm a bit like whoa now I kind of want to stay up there, you know Not that I think that I'm the most powerful student in the UK. It's just nice to um, Be in the top five, you know, so I'm just gonna finish writing my Plans for the next few days so I can make sure I'm staying productive at home because that's what I want to be I want to get on with work and do things that I need to do um, and then I'm going to start tidying my room because it's an absolute state. came to pick me up late last night on the way back from my brother's applicant day or open day I'm not really too sure got back and been like catching up with my family and stuff but today I'm just off I'm going to go see my cousin which will be re really lovely because I've missed her a lot so I'm gonna go see her and just see lots of family today so I might not be vlogging too much I need to get on with a lot of work later so I'll catch up with you when I'm doing that probably just thought I'd give you a bit of an update because there's been a massive time jump <laughs> since the last time I vlogged I'm happy to be back home 
um, just to see everyone again because I haven't seen everyone properly since the beginning of January and it's been like a month and a half so yeah it's been nice. <laughs> Right, so I'm actually at my nan's house now. We've had food, had food all together. I've got the hiccups at the minute. David's sitting over there. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the vlog? No. I, I have, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I haven't really done much today apart from see all my family. So sorry I haven't filmed too much, but I'm sure I'll chat to you when I get back uh, home. Yeah, I'm now home from my nans. It's actually Valentine's Day today. I haven't really said anything. So I hope you guys have spent Valentine's Day feeling loved. Like you don't have to have a partner. You can just spend time with your friends, family. Like literally I've spent time with my family today because I can't see my boyfriend. And I've just had a lovely time. So you don't have to be with a, like a, you have, don't have to be like partnered up to have a nice Valentine's Day. I know a lot of people are very bitter about it. Um, and like quite sour towards the whole Valentine's Day. But I'm thinking, I just think... If you love someone in your life, like, just share the love with them, you know? Like, even if it's just, like, a friend or family member, like, you don't have to be all, like, coupled up to enjoy the day. And it, to be honest, it's just a day. Like, it's a normal day. So I don't feel like people should be meh about it when other people are just having a nice, enjoyable day. We should be celebrating someone loving another person, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why people can be so bitter about it. Because we complain if people are killing each other. We complain if people are hating on each other. We complain when people love each other because we're jealous or whatever but yeah I don't know it just kind of annoys me um when people are really bitter towards it and I just don't see why like if it, it's just a normal day to some people like some people really don't care about it which is fair enough but um yeah I don't know I just quite like it I don't think I think it's obviously very hyped up for what it is um I usually just like spending the day with Aiden just doing something or sometimes we go out for dinner but obviously I couldn't see him this year. I mean, yeah, I don't know. We just sort of sent each other a card. I much prefer, like, reading a card. And his words brought me to tears when it came through this morning. Like, I didn't even know he was sending me a card because we both decided not to do Valentine's. But I did end up sending him a card and a book that he really wanted, just to something small, um, because he does treat me really lovely. And, yeah, his card literally made me cry. I'll show you the front of it. I won't really show you the words because it's kind of, like, deep and personal. Um, but, yeah, I was literally reduced to tears. And I showed my mum and she was, like, crying too. <laughs> yeah, I'll go find the card. I can't remember where I put it. Mum, do you remember where I put that card from Aiden? Well, I'm from Aiden. Yeah. Do no, I put you that? Took it, you went that Maybe way. I... Maybe I did put it in my bag then. Found it. It was literally on my bed in front of me, classic. So this was the card. We sort of have like a little inside joke thing about bears. So I'm assuming he picked this one and it's really cute. Just thought I'd also add that he actually spelt my name wrong in the card. Um, forgot to, forgot to mention that. Um, seeing as this is the sixth Valentine's Day together, I thought he would actually be able to spell my name, but apparently not. Lovely. And then he also got me these, which if you've watched me for a while, you know how I've struggled with like lots of things mentally. So these are like the cutest things ever, like the cutest thing that he could have done for me this Valentine. So I'm just, I was literally like in tears earlier because of it. So yeah, I actually love him so much, bless him. And I just like appreciate him in my life. Like just these little two pieces of card like made me so happy and like my heart was like full. So thanks very much, Aiden. even though he won't be watching this. I just really appreciate him so much so cute anyway i'll probably end the vlog here i'm probably just gonna chill for the rest of the evening and edit this vlog and do some work for uni tomorrow i've got i'm gonna have like a really productive day like whilst everyone's out working i'm gonna get on with my my bits and pieces that i need to do i need to go over my test that i need to send submit by tomorrow like i did most of the questions i only left a couple blank because i wasn't really sure so i'm gonna go over those probably this evening double check them and then submit tomorrow um also need to write a blog post for tomorrow too for the university student life blog if you didn't know i blog for the university so i need to do that too i've left it a little bit to the last minute absolute mess at the minute but yeah it's fine i also am going to the orthodontist tomorrow morning too thank you very much for watching this video sorry it's been a bit all over the place but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless make sure to smash thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you're new and I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. And fingers crossed we can do lots of work. And hopefully it will motivate some of you guys. Bye. Bye.